the man that made the Arrowverse what it is, Greg Berlanti, just recently signed a huge overall deal with WB. Many people expected this is good because he's going to bring his know-how and knowledge over to the DC Studios a lot. And uh, when they start the DCU, he's going to be involved because, let's be real, the Arrowverse is the best shared DC universe we've gotten in live action. You can't dispute that. So we learned that he's not involved with DC at all. Interesting. Again, you know, I have elements of the Arrowverse that I really love. The first couple seasons of The Flash are great. Arrow has its ups and downs, but largely I think it's a good show. Legends of Tomorrow when it started, I thought it was decent. Superman and Lois is the best thing the CW has ever produced. So there's some quality content there, right? I don't want to throw it all under the bus. Some of it, though, not as good, and uh, there's reasons for that. But again, Greg Berlanti, I think, proved that he can do it. You know, he proved that he could take on all these shows and produce some quality content, which, again, I think many people will argue that it was the best live-action stuff we had. Remember, there was a part, like, what, well, um, part of the last decade, largely, maybe, like, the midsection there, that everybody was talking about the Arrowverse. Like, it was something special. Everybody was talking about it. Oh, the theories and all that. And then it fell off because of logistics, changing budgets, and all this. It's unfortunate, but it did happen. So the fact that he signed this huge overall deal, you would think that they would want his know-how and how to do it cheap, fast, and uh, in many cases, good. Again, opinion, but I thought largely the arrow versus 50-50. But the good stuff is good, the bad stuff is bad. There was no middle ground there. See, there's a problem when... They signed them all, but they're not going to use them. Maybe he'll be an advisor to some capacity, you would hope, because he kind of knows what he's doing. But at the same time, maybe he has some better ideas, and they're just going to let James Gunn do his own thing. Whatever the case is, though, I do hope they at least talk to him a bit. Because whether you like it or not, the CW Arrowverse was more profitable than the DCEU. So let that sink in. So maybe ask the guy who made it work just how and why it worked.